of course, he is leader of the Black Consciousness Movement, uh, kicked out of, you know, and also killed by the uh, South African security forces. You all know some of the story. Some of that was in Cry Freedom with Denzel. Unfortunately, they can kill Denzel early in the movie. Made, made us suffer through that other thing. Uh, Sony Ali, Songhai Empire. I like the children to know about Ghana, Mali, Songhai, the empires, where the name Ma Ghana came from. Uh, Nkrumah got it from those old, uh, some, uh, uh, the old Ghana empire, last and the biggest of the empires, uh, uh, led and started by Sony Ali. Bahanzen, uh, a lot of this uh, Nomaton, the Amazon warriors, the same ones out of Benin, uh, he was one of the main chiefs struggling against them. They call him the King Shark. Mary Makiba, now they know it, at least know what apartheid is. I talk about her being kicked out of South Africa for three decades for her uh, activism. And even though she was out of the country, she spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, um, you know, raising money, awareness, and everything for the anti apartheid struggle. The great Sheikh Anta Jop, Sheikh Anta Jop, of course, we know is really him and Obinga were behind closing the books on the, the Af black Africanists of the uh, Egyptian civilization. And uh, there's a lot we can say more about that. We we'll keep moving. JJ Desaline of Haiti. Um, Toussaint's, one of Toussaint's lieutenants who actually brought them across the line to, to nationhood after Toussaint was moved out. Um, uh, George Washington Carver, I always say this about it, is that the children, though they don't know a lot of people, they'll always raise their hand, not always, somebody will raise their hand here, and I, I'm always stunned. You know George Washington Carver, and I said, who is that? They got their hand said, yeah, first president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is how they got us socialized, right? You know, you all the way over here, you never heard of apartheid, but you know the first I mean, we got a lot of work to do, yo. Uh, Jules Nerere, uh, a great East African leader, um, coming out of uh, Tanzania, not only was he uh, well organized his society, tried to bring some unity in Eastern Africa, but also uh, was providing material support to a lot of the frontline states trying to get out from under the colonial order. Ephraim Mamou, Ephraim Mamou is uh, a Ghanaian who struggled against this whole uh, cultural imperialism of the Western, of, of Inc., uh, of the British when they came in. Harriet Tubman, uh, we know Harriet Tubman, I think most of us do, but this gives me an opportunity to tell them a little bit more about the, the real horrors and the real details about this slavery uh, condition that we went through as a group. Um, I always have to say this though, is that after I got through with this one, and I was down here a little ways, the kids were still talking. And so I asked the teacher, what are they talking about in local language? And she said, the children thought that I said when I was explaining her that we were not paid. And I said, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. You know, we weren't paid. So she said it back to them. And when the children heard, they were all like angry, what, what? You know, and then it dawned on me that, you know, I said, you guys thought we were getting checks every Friday since, you know, yeah. 500 years. Yeah. That's why they figured y'all ought to have something. Yeah, right. Every Friday, 400 years, we still broke bad management. No, but this is the idea that some people have on how, wow. how benign this institution actually was. Okay, uh, Samora Michelle, Mozambique, one of the great young freedom fighters, nursed by, uh, uh, by training, but um, of course he was the main driving force with Free Limo along with Monlani we'll talk about later. Unfortunately, we think killed by the South African government. Nanny of Jamaica. Nanny, Jamaica? Somebody tell me who Nanny is. Nanny, Nanny, Nanny. Maroon Queen. Huh? Maroon Queen. Maroon Queen. She's the one that wiped him, Wendy? With, uh, no, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, uh, what I what I let the students know a couple of things that uh, she came out of Ghana or this area of the coast when she went through the whole slave uh, transition thing, and also some people even say the nanny was really Nana, which is a, a thing you say here a lot. And we, of course, we talk about her having uh, commanded a section of the island from the British. Uh, just to keep from harassing them. And we know that, and I took this from actually from the currency, so I like the children to know that this sister is also on the currency uh, uh, in Jamaica. Yeah, she looks straight Ghanaian. And then we talk about other things about uh, 
Kujo and some of the other uh, mm -hmm. things come from. Ali Selassie or, or Rasta And so a lot of folks uh, aren't real, really sure where this uh, Rasta Far. You know, these kids are like Rasta, Rasta, Rasta. But, so I have to go back and kind of explain yeah. That's the man that, you know, Tafari Makonan and how the thing came apart. Haile Selassie being the name that he used. Um, yes, sir. Welcome. You. <laughs> A little familiar. Uh, Tianki. I like for them to know that even 25 dynasties in, uh, these are still black African pharaohs and ancient, <laughs> ancient Brother, people. you got a whole lot of different narrative going on right now online. That's and right. people are literally saying, I'm proving to y'all that ancient Egyptians weren't black. I mean, it's a whole bunch of debate. Oh, you just have to like turn yeah. off the YouTube. Yeah. It, it just yeah. gets to the point where it just gets crazy. Now, I got, I got folks that what, they'll debate facts, me to a T. This is what uh, Theophil Abinga was reminding us. Yeah. We're not trying to convince them. Right. We, we're trying to tell ourselves so, the truth. Right. Yeah, we know the truth, go. we'll know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. You're trying to convince them, and you're gonna spend, first of all, just the, the, the whole process of trying to convince them means that you're giving them yes. some priority yes. in your brain yes. about yes. things not real. And it's not, a, it's not about them, I'm talking about black folks, no, black I folks. Care, yes. I don't care who's saying right it, I'm that. just saying that. That are calling themselves scholars now. Yeah, well, yes, it's, 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 it's wild. They have their anyway. own facts, where well, they basically adopted the facts and information, okay. and they want to challenge you when you come with okay. real facts That's and right. information. I'm going to send one down here don't, so, don't, so don't, you don't, can go at it. Let them do their work, you do your work. Don't argue with them. There you go. Shaka to Zulu, I couldn't resist taking the brother's face. I don't I guess that's okay. But I really love the movie. But Shaka, so he was the course, actor. I can he see was, you from the bush. Yeah, yeah, he was the actor, but you know, he consolidated a lot of uh, ground. Of course, if you were one of the ones who were taking over during Shaka's time, you may not like him so much, but he didn't make it easy for uh, outside penetration. Uh, and of course, you know, revolutionized the way they fought a lot of other things. Manny Wuhamer, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Most of the children, almost all of the children here, I had a hundred and something in a group last week, I'm sorry. And you know, when you tell them that in my, when I was a child, my parents basically couldn't vote. They just can't believe it, you know, as far as they're concerned. It's like, that's America. Barack Obama, why couldn't you vote, you know? So we really have to go through this, and then the fact that she was jailed and tortured and beaten and all the rest of that, only trying to get the franchise, is something that the children here, because of the background and the propaganda, is hard for them to process it. But like I said, I'm just exposing them to a snapshot. Hopefully the work that you all and others do uh, can reinforce those, uh, those facts. Tokbe Sri coming from the Volta region uh, of Ghana. <coughs> He's basically led the Ewe people, at least the Anlos, down here to the southern part of Ghana. So when I talk to a lot of people in Ghana who are Ewe's, this is the, the figure that a lot of them gave me. Uh, say here with Taki Tawia. He was the Ga Gaomache, king of the gods at the turn of last century. Uh, very influential, struggling through the beginning of the colonial order. Uh, then here, uh, Menes or Narmer. Yeah. So I always bring, like the other day we had the children, I had two groups actually, and I have them choose a child that looks most like this, and they usually get one that's pretty close. Then I have them come stand here, you know, doing the whole thing. And then when they do that, they've identified his face with their child. Then I tell them this is the very first part, the actual face. That's right. This is actually the real face. The very first, and I don't know, that's why I said, why would you argue with these people? That's like saying, that's the white man. If you get stuck in that argument, that's your fault. <laughs> you know. uh, so when I, uh, the children, because they connect right away. I mean, they may have their little episode of cognitive dissonance because, like I said, they've been watching the old Brenner because they got all the same, they got all the same movies we had, you know. But there it is, you know. And, you just saw that brother down this morning. I was getting coconut. 